Testicular cancer is a, a cancer of the testes, which is uh, highly curable. The testicular cancers used to be very difficult to treat about 30 years ago, 35 years ago. Now we have a cure rate of 95% provided we take care of them and early diagnosis and treatment. There are no known risk factors except what we talked about earlier. Undescended testes, one of the causes of uh, testicular tumors. There are no other known uh, causes. It is very important uh, every male should examine themselves uh, at least once a week. And especially the people between age 15 to 35, it's very important. The testicular cancers are very common in that age group. Self-examination and going and consulting your doctor, they evaluating with various radiological examinations. Then if they suspect a testicular tumor, it's very important to make sure what they have is not a, a cancerous growth on the testes. It is diagnosed by self-examination and uh, the physicians deciding by radiological as well as physical examinations that they have a tumor, then removing the tumor and examining it under microscope. There are different kind of testicular tumors. Some are highly curable. Some need more treatment after the removal of the testes. Uh, that does not really increase the risk of testicular cancer, but they need to be examined, determined whether they have any underlying growth in the testes. Usually I don't advocate a um, placement of uh, prosthesis. If somebody wants a prosthesis, it can be placed. Depends. Uh, whether somebody needs further treatment for testicular cancer. If they have radiation therapy or chemotherapy, they may have difficulty in fathering the children. There are different ways we can uh, help them by preserving uh, the semen or some of these patients may not need any further treatment after removal of the testes. They will be able to have children. Ah, it depends upon, um, the, again, the treatment. By just removing the testes, they may not need any sperm banking. If they need chemotherapy or radiation therapy, then we need to discuss that. Uh, the answer is no, unless they received chemotherapy or radiation therapy. Normally, that does not affect their sexuality. Mm -hmm.